Beavers, BTO, and now Queen? How many classic rock bands do you have to rip off, Angry Beavers? Maybe this opening shot tricked some people into thinking that this was a real tree, but that wouldn't explain how enormous these ducks are. You share it with me now, then I share it with you all the times I don't want. So in one week, by that time you'll be bored of it. You can have it. Not gonna change your mind? No, sir, e -dee -dee -dee. Yeah. He's gonna change his mind. Keep it. Don't ever want to see it again. So Norbert decides to leave it in the living room instead of taking it with him. Somehow, putting the two halves of the broken tree back together completely fixes it, even after lots of scraps of wood broke off from it. Our special musk. Conveniently timed TV special. Also, our special musk? Is the narrator a beaver too? Seeing a realistically drawn beaver just reminds me that Norbert and Daggett don't like anything like real beavers. Realistically drawn beaver's musk is a train whistle, which is even more cartoony than what we're about to see with Norbert and Daggett's musk. Used responsibly a beaver's special musk. Used responsibly even though we totally know they're not going to use responsibly cliché. So, did Daggett never know he had a musk till now? He never thought anything of the little nozzle underneath his tail till just now? <laughs> I know the narrator said that the musk doesn't smell bad that the beaver belongs to, but it still can't be pleasant for Daggett to sniff his own. This would be like a skunk sniffing its own scent gland. The leaves on the tree don't change color when Daggett musks it, but they are green later. Are these wood chips sold with the toy or separately? <laughs> so, a beaver's musk works on other beavers too, not just predators? Sorry, Norbe! Changed my mind! Called it! Why does Daggett want to musk a bunch of random household objects instead of things he's actually possessive over? Apparently, this toilet and toilet paper roll are the same object if he can musk them both at once. Hey, that's my- Those were yours? They're too big for you. Sometimes their musks are visible underneath their tails, sometimes they aren't. The chair that Daggett musked earlier and Norbert broke is now mysteriously gone. Again, how did he only find out about his musk now? Hey, 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 keep away from my nodding. <laughs> See, that's what you get for laying claim to a bunch of random household objects and your brother's possessions first. Now I'm gonna protect what's mine. A bunch of random household objects that you nor Daggett ever touch anyway wouldn't feel the need to be possessive over. Also, wait, if Norbert's musk fluid color is pink and Daggett's is green, does that mean that every single beaver in the world has a unique musk fluid color? I don't think that many colors even exist, at least in terms of human or beaver vision. Also, this is going to make it difficult for Timmy Turner to find Cosmo and Wanda. This window is now closed, even though it was open right after the episode's opening shot. Also, the background is inconsistent between shots. Still, dot dot dot, Mayan. Richard Horvitz's ad lib gives Migos inspiration for songwriting. Fucking on your bitch, yeah, dot dot dot. And this is this yours too. Yours is not as good of a mispronunciation as Mayan. The puppy machine I got for my birthday? You mean our birthday? Norbert and Dagger were born on the same day. No. I'm kind of surprised that Dagger didn't musk this machine first, given how big and obvious it is. Dagger doesn't cringe or fly backwards when he touches the machine that Norbert musked. We can't musk each other! Well, you can, just not at the same time. I'm so close to solving every major mystery of the known universe with it. And solving those mysteries is one of the times where you won't watch your Wonder Tree of Wowie toy. Somehow this corded fan can turn on without being plugged in or having a button or switch being pushed. The fan isn't turning pink when Norbert uses his musk on it. Conveniently play squirt gun. It's kind of ambiguous as to whether this musk fluid is a liquid or a gas. It seems to act more like one or the other when it's convenient. The front door and the wall decorations aren't changing color when the musk fluid hits them, even though the TV turned pink when Norbert's musk fluid hit it earlier. I'm pretty sure it's not healthy to be excreting this much body fluid at once. Somehow the entire inside of the dam hasn't completely turned pink and green. We've musked away our entire dam! What does that even mean? The point of the musk is to mark your territory. How do you mark your territory something away? Oh, uh, dot. Cooking up dope in a crock pot. Somehow this small little squirt turns the entire tree green. Cause I'm gonna build myself a new home with the real wonder tree of Wowie. Yes, Norbert, tell Daggett what you're gonna do. That's totally not gonna make him want to do the same. Apparently, Norbert and Daggett both know exactly where the wonder tree of Wowie is. 
When Norbert and Daggett simultaneously musk this cliff, instead of becoming striped pink and green like their fireplace, it becomes half green, half pink. We've been running for a while, but let's suddenly scoot our butts along this road. The path on this map doesn't start in Oregon, where way out of town is. There's no way this American flag should have all 50 stars given that Norbert and Daggett didn't musk Alaska and Hawaii. Wow, Maine's landscape sure looks a lot like Oregon's. Also, everything behind Norbert and Daggett isn't pink and green. If the Wonder Tree of Wowie is so famous that it warranted a toy, why isn't it like a national park or protected by rangers or surrounded by tourists? Norbert and Daggett conveniently run out of musk fluid now, just as they get to the tree. I'd loan you some of my- Even if Norbert lent Daggett some of his musk fluid, it would still be Norbert's musk fluid and still be claimed by him. Also, how exactly would Norbert lend Daggett his musk fluid? Would he musk into Daggett's musk? Seen before that their separate musk fluids can't touch each other, Daggett's musk and or tail would probably explode. Double loser, poozer, doozer, do poo to you, a uh, guy! You're on a musk fluid too, Daggett. Hang on a second, since when did humans also have musks? And how is it going through their shirts? Also, going back to what I said about there being a unique musk fluid color for every single beaver, better add humans in there too. And in the supply of succulent tender wood chips. Which you can't eat since you're not a beaver. This lumberjack is perfectly fine after falling face first from an incredibly tall tree. These are my ferrets. Mine. Both these lumberjacks clearly have the same voice actor. You'd think they could just learn to share! Main character sees someone else do the same thing they've been doing this whole time, stays listening to be learned, then has moment of self-awareness cliché. Daggett has a kangaroo pouch. It's too late to share it now. Daggett's already musked it. Norbert can't touch it. Ugh, sharing hurts, Norbert! Episode has a genuine moral, only to immediately backtrack on it. Good thing animal scents don't last forever, otherwise Norbert and Daggett will be pushed away from each other like magnets forever.